A lot of people are curious about vlogging, especially how it's done. The equipment that you need to use like the cameras and the lights, the backdrop, basically lahat ng kailangan mo malaman. It's a cool way to express yourself and earn a few bucks. But the best part is you can do it right at home. This is CN Lim guys and this is The Good Home. Welcome to another episode with me. This time we are taking it to another level because I am going to show you how to set up your own studio at home and I might even give you a tour of our set today. So without further ado, let's get on to it. The great thing about vlogging is that I can express myself in a more relaxed way. I don't have to memorize scripts so I can just share my own opinion, my own thoughts. I don't have to act so people can see the real me and not just a projection of a character. I have more creative freedom because I get to choose and do my own material. And I really hope you like what I'm showing you guys so far. So please give us a like and consider subscribing to our official YouTube channel at the official SMDC. Vlogging is a great way to interact with people, even if I'm just filming on my own because my viewers get to know me on a deeper level. I started vlogging, I guess around 2010, after getting inspired by other YouTubers. And who knows, baka pagkatapos yung panoorin ito, you might be inspired as well. If you're doing this from your living room or your bedroom, you probably have a smaller footprint to work on. So let me show you how to create an amazing backdrop when your space is limited. So for your backdrop, it's more practical to look around your house for something you can use before hitting the shops. If you have a painted wall or anything that's already there and you're cool with it, then you can run with it. But if you have a plain white wall, then it's cool too because you can turn it into something that looks really nice depending on your content. Ikaw bahala sa gusto mong gawin. Doing it yourself gives you a lot of creative control so you can determine your aesthetic from there. So we've designed a makeshift studio in one of your bedrooms. It's relatively simple so you can easily replicate this in yours. It's a great space to start with because you can control the lighting and it's still relatively big enough to create depth. We made a backdrop using tin foil and we're going to show you how we did it. There are two ways you can go about this. You can just lay it flat against the wall to create a shiny silvery background or you can crease it to create texture to give it a nice bokeh effect. So we just crease it because we want to add that extra texture. As all vloggers know, lighting is everything. It sets the tone and the mood, the brightness and the clarity of your video. When it comes to lighting, natural sunlight is still the best. Walang tatalo dun. Since tinfoil reflects light, it works best with soft natural light. And if you are just starting out, you can work with a ring light. Now, let's talk cameras and microphones and other vlogging essentials. Probably the most important item you should purchase is a good solid microphone. You might be thinking, Sian, isn't the camera more important? Well, if your viewers can't hear you, there's no point in subscribing, diba? Right? A good microphone should be able to make your voice as clear as possible. So invest in something that can keep the background noise to a minimum. 
When it comes to cameras, you can start by just using your phone. As long as your phone camera can record in HD, you don't even have to shell out money for a camera. But if you want to invest in one, I suggest you read plenty of reviews online or go to a store to see how it feels in person. Now, let's talk about other stuff you can get, but not necessarily as important. First up is a tripod. Napaka importante ng tripod. Pero kung kailangan mo talaga, eh, why not? If you're doing this on your own and you don't have someone to operate the camera, then a tripod is your best friend. You can get a tabletop tripod which can also double as a vlogging stick. Again, check reviews before you buy. You've been warned, guys. Pwede ka rin gumamit ng gimbal. This is not an essential, especially if you already own a tripod. But if you want the smoothest video possible, then pwede ka yung kumuha ng isa and get your video stabilized. Paano kung drone naman ang usapan? Kailangan mo ba ng isang drone? Well, you could if you want one. It's just uh, something more premium, which of course makes your videos look better. You can achieve more creative and unique shots if you use a drone to film, especially if you're a travel vlogger. If you're just doing tutorials at home, then uh, you can skip into only one. Alangan naman ng drone ka dito sa loob ng bahay, di ba? And nabanggit ko ang traveling. If you are, then kailangan mo ng isang backpack. And a really good one. It has to be big enough for you to store all your gears, including space for small items such as batteries, cables, SD cards, and chargers, at marami pang iba. Lastly, you will need an editing software. Make sure you get the latest software so you can put together everything that you have filmed and put out the best content possible. So now you have everything you need in your arsenal. What's next? How about giving us a like and subscribe on our official YouTube channel at the official SMDC for content that can inspire you on your first vlog. You can also subscribe to my channel, that's CN Lim 8. I hope meron kayong natutunan from me today to get you started on your vlogging career. Hindi mo naman kailangan mag-rent out na ng studio para sa inyo or go someplace exotic if you're just starting out. You can do it at the comfort of your own space. So believe in yourself and follow your dreams to keep living the good home experience.